He sang it just a couple of verses. But, and I feel the glory of God. And as we mm -hmm. reach out, just try to black out everything but Him. Give Him the honor. Give Him the glory. This little song we used to sing in church uh, many years ago. Learning to, to lean, lean, learning to lean. lean. I'm learning to lean on Jesus. Finding more power than I ever dreamed. I'm learning to lean on Jesus. Learning to lean. I'm learning to lean. I'm learning to lean on Jesus. Finding more power than I ever dreamed. I'm learning to lean on Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. You know, I want to start off by saying real quickly, we do going to have a prayer clause, and they're absolutely free of charge. If anybody's out there, I know the last time we done a video and we put it out there, we had a couple of responses. And also we send prayer claws. A lot of times this lady in Manchester, Tennessee, and she gives them out to her neighbors, people at Walmart, and she gives a lot of them out. That right now she needs some. And I told her this week I would get them in the mail to her. And we send them to her. And we don't charge her a penny. We pay the postage and everything Amen. because God blesses us to be able to do it. Yes. And she takes them and she puts them out. Sometimes we got CDs. Uh, we got rid of every CD we had a few days ago. Mm -hmm. I didn't have one left. All I have was a master. Amen. But we ordered some more materials this week. They should be here this week. We're going to make some more CDs up. We usually give them out most all the time. If anybody has a love offering, praise God, whatever they feel to do. But if they don't have any money, it's free. We don't put a charge on nothing that God wants us to do. He said, freely you have to receive, free to give. And that's what we try to do. And we'll be glad to send you a prayer cloth. We'll be glad to send you a, a, a CD. We should have some of them made up this next week. And we'll mail them out to you. Postage paid. You don't have to pay postage. All we've got to do is know that you want it. Amen. Yes. And so I'm going to give him my address. And uh, a lot of people are frightened to give me an address. But I'm not. I just trust in the Lord. God is going to take care of me and everything like that. Amen. Um, but my address is Ray Witherington. That's probably at the bottom of it, uh, the video, so you'll know that. You can get my name there. Ray Witherington, 105 Davis Mill Park Road, Seneca, South Carolina, 29678. And that, once again, is, is Ray Witherington. And also our stamp says Midnight Cry Ministries into all the world. Amen. But I'm just giving the basic address. Ray Witherington, 105 Davis Mill Park Drive, Seneca, South Carolina, 29678. You write us if you want a prayer cloth, if you want a CD, and you just ask us and we'll mail it to you. Absolutely no ob obligation and postage paid. Mm -hmm. Now, after I got all into that, I want to get into this. We thank God that we are nearing the end as we know it. Amen. And so that's crazy. Mm -hmm. But you know what? If we keep wanting Jesus to stay gone all the time, you know, I heard somebody say that I just want him to stay, not come quite now, and we get a few more in. You know, whenever that's going to happen, there's still going to be a few more that's not going to be in. Amen. Then we actually want him to come back. The yeah. Bible said that he promised that he would. Amen. And yes, we want to get everyone that we can uh, into safety. We want to get them saved, and let's, let's go to work. And if we're not working, let's get to work like never before. And let's try to get the gospel out and try to tell people they need Jesus. And then let the Spirit of God do His job. Amen. And he'll convict them. He'll work with That's them. That's right. But our job is to preach the gospel, to proclaim it. And I'm just going to say, even so, Lord Jesus, come quickly. Because if we keep wanting Him to delay His coming, I, I, I don't think it's pleasing in the, you know, the eyes of the Lord. You know, back there in John Revelator's day, he said, Even so, Lord Jesus, come quickly. Amen. Amen. He said that 2,000 <laughs> years ago. He said, Even so, Lord Jesus, come quickly. 
because John was in a bunch of trouble in that uh, that island, the Patmos, and he didn't have it so good, and he wanted to get out of there. And so that's the way we're going to have to start doing this. Look at this like uh, we're wanting the Lord to come. Amen. And we're going to get everybody we can into the last minute, the last hour, the last day into that ark. But we are at the end. I believe this is a generation. There never has been another generation like this one. Right. This is the generation where every sign has been fulfilled at one time. Every sign Amen. in various places. You've got wars. You've got rumors of wars. You've got famines. You've got earthquakes. You've got... Uh, hurricanes, amen, you got tsunamis, you got, I mean, just, you name it, every sign that Jesus said was going to take place at the end, it's taking place. Amen. The only one that's had not been finished yet is Jesus said that when he sent us forth, or he sent the apostles forth, and that when he sent them forth, he sent us forth in our period of time. Amen, when it got our time, amen, their time came and went, our time is now, amen. But he amen. sent them forth, he said to do what? Go ye into all, all the, the world, world and preach the gospel to every creature. Amen. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. I want to ask you, are, do you believe? If you believe, thank God. I'm talking about believing on Jesus Christ. Have you been baptized? Amen. If you've not been baptized, you need to find a good uh, man or woman of God that loves Jesus. And you need to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 You know, somebody said, what do you mean by that? Peter commanded them in the 10th chapter of the book of Acts. He commanded them. He didn't say if you want to. He didn't say if you understand it. He commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, what's the name of the Lord? Thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. So if you've not been baptized, you need to do it. Amen. And I'm here to but you've got to be saved to be baptized. Amen. Understand that. If you're not saved, if you don't repent, if you don't accept Jesus wet. Christ as your Lord and Savior out of your heart, baptizing ain't going to do you no good. Nope. You just go down a dry center and come up wet. Amen. you got to be saved. Then follow the Lord in water baptism. Then follow on to know the Lord. Uh, reach, seek Him for the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Get all the power you can. If you've had the Holy Ghost, get a refreshing. Amen. Get stirred up again. Let Him stir up the gift of God that dwelleth within you. Amen. But we're the only thing that has not been then that I can see to bring the end of this age is this gospel must. How do you know what must mean? Don't mean must. maybe. Mm -hmm. This gospel Damn. must be preached into all of the world for a witness to every nation. Then shall the end come. This gospel, where you, it's not been preached in all the world. If it had, the end would already come. Amen. So we still got a work to do. Yes. Now let's get about our Father's business Amen. and do His work. And the That's main right. thing He said was to preach the gospel. Amen. He didn't say for us to give the increase. He just said for us to get it out there. Any way we can. If you buy internet, buy tracks, buy uh, tapes, buy whatever. Every way you can, get the gospel out there. The bit, you know, Everybody's not called to do the same thing. But what has God laid on your heart to do? Let everybody get this position. Do he, what God has called him to do, and we'll get the job done. And you know what? This gospel shall be. That means it will be. Amen. It's not maybe, so y'all failed, it didn't get done. No. Jesus said it shall be. That Amen. means it That's will right. be. Amen. But you know where I found out that it's been fulfilled at? In the book of Revelations. It's been fulfilled in the book of Revelations. Amen. I believe it's the 14th chapter of the book of Revelations. Amen. And, and in just the first couple of verses I read it, the Bible said there was an angel that flew through heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach to them, to all that dwell upon the earth, every nation, every tongue, every kingdom. Amen. It's being preached. But you know when it's being preached? At the time of the tribulation. <laughs> read the 13th chapter of Acts. Amen. I mean, uh, excuse me, Revelation 13 to 14 chapter. Read them together at the time of the mark of the beast. Everybody's heard about the mark of the beast. Everybody's scared to death. 666. They get 666 on something and they freak out. Oh, I might take the mark of the beast and don't know it. There ain't no way you can take the mark of the beast and not know it. Nope. That You have got right. to willfully 
turn your back on God, deny Him, and mm -hmm. accept the Antichrist. Amen. Amen. To take the mark of the beast. Right. They can't sneak it on you. They can't force mm -hmm. it on you. They can't take a little child and hold them down and give it to them. They can't mm -hmm. take you and hold you down and give it. They wouldn't. It would not matter. Amen. Amen. That is something that's got to be according to your will. Amen. Amen. You have got to turn your back on Jesus completely. And brother, I'm here to tell you, the Bible says in the 13th chapter of Revelations, it says very clearly that those, the ones that's going to take the mark of the beast, they don't have their names written in the Lamb's book of life. Read it for yourself. The 13th chapter of the book of Revelations, it says the ones that do not have their name written in the Lamb's book of life is the ones that's going to take the mark of the beast. Now, you can reverse that. If you do have your name written in the Lamb's book of life, you will not take the mark of the beast because you have been sealed by the Spirit of God Amen. until Amen. the That's day it. of promise, the day of oh, redemption. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Only those that reject God that has not accepted Jesus Christ Amen. Is going to receive the mark of the beast. Amen. Somebody said, well, that's not us. That's, let me tell you something. Somebody said, well, the church ain't even mentioned there. No, but saints are. Yes. And you can read many of the epistles that uh, I believe it was uh, Paul wrote. He called the church saints. He called them the saints that, that, that are here. Saints that are there. Amen. And it said that the Bible says the Antichrist or the beast makes war with the saints. Then we got people that says, that's not the church. But then they see someone down the road there and they say, well, that's the tribulation saints. No, I'm here to tell you, that's just the saints in general. I don't want to think about we might go through the mark of the beast and all that. I'd rather get out of here. Amen. Amen. But brother, I, the truth is the truth. Nobody has ever did it yet. Amen. Amen. Think about it. When they killed millions in China for their faith. They didn't get uh, raptured. Let me tell you, I believe in the coming of Jesus. Amen. I mean, He's coming. Amen. And lots of why do you don't like the word rapture? Because there's a mentality involved in that. That's right. When they hear rapture, that means you're leaving here before it really gets bad in the last days. If they never done it before, they were just as much at church as you are. Amen. The early Christians were just as much at part of the church as you are. And brother, they had to go through plenty. Amen. They, they, were, they were fed the lines. I hate to even talk about stuff like that, but it's church history. It's, in fact, it's just history in general. So, they were led into big coliseums of thousands of people all around a coliseum. And it was led into them coliseums and the lines was turned loose upon them. Mm -hmm. And brother, I read some accounts that while the lines was jumping on them and tearing them to pieces and eating them up, they had their hands up praising God and worshiping God. Brother, I'm here to tell you that God can be, He can be your help in the time of need. Amen. And brother, look at all the other people. Look at all the apostles. Brother, they certainly wasn't raptured. The Bible says every one of them was killed for their faith except John the Revelator. That's right. And some of them was killed terrible deaths. Some had their heads chopped off. Amen. Amen. Some of them was crucified upside down. I've heard that some of them was bald in vats of oil. I don't know about all that, but that's what church history says. And I believe it was Paul, guys, head chopped up outside of Rome. Mm. Now, they wouldn't take it out of here before anything really oh. bad happened to them. Somebody said, well, what are we going to do, brother? Number one, we're going to be here to the last trumpet sounds. Number two, there's going to be some saints of God here. Because they're here, the, the Antichrist or the beast system is making more of the saints. Mm -hmm. So there's some saints here on this earth during that period Amen. of time. So it's, well, that's the backsliders that come back to God after we rapture the no. church. Well, I hope you're right. But if you're wrong, uh, you'll have a rude mm -hmm. awakening. Amen. Amen. But we don't need to be afraid because the Bible says if you'll accept Jesus Christ now as your Lord and your Savior. I don't have my egg timer today. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know what's 15 minutes. It was going to do some of these programs and put it on YouTube and then kind of, you know, divide it up at where a phone would... Uh, be able to do it that way better. That's what we're going to do. So I don't know what we're going to do here. We're just going to do what we can. Amen. Almost at 15. Okay, almost at 15. Well, we're just going to, in just about a minute or two, we're going to kind of uh, cut this off. We want to go as much as we can in here. Then we'll start back again. But the thing about it is, if you're a child of God, if you ain't, 
You need to become a child of God. Amen. Repent of your sins. Turn to Jesus Christ and make Him your Lord and your Savior. Follow Him to the best of your ability. If you slip and slide, ask Him to forgive you and help you to Amen. get stronger to go forth. Amen. Right. Be because if you are a child of God, you will not take the mark of the beast. Amen. Amen.